Hi, my name is Rick Harding. I've been an FAA at Cyprus for over 12 years. Over the next few minutes, I will show you how you may be able to integrate several chips on your board into a small PSOC mixed signal array device, reducing board area and lowering system cost. PSOC stands for Programmable System on a Chip and is a mixed signal technology platform that contains configurable communications interfaces, analog and digital blocks, along with a full-featured microcontroller. Using the configurable analog and digital blocks, designers can create advanced mixed signal embedded applications. PSOC is flexible like an FPGA, so by configuring the analog and digital blocks, you can quickly change the functionality of the chip. To show you how flexible PSOC is, we will set up some quick demonstrations using this reference development kit. The first demonstration we will show is called CapSense. You can see that on the board, there are these copper traces in the shape of an arrow, and these are acting as capacitive sensors. They are connected to this PSOC device, which we will configure one of the analog blocks on to measure capacitance, and this will detect the position of a finger on the traces. Another analog block on the PSOC device will drive and change the color of this LED on the board. To start, we will select the CapSense project that we have already designed, and then configure the PSOC. It just takes a few seconds to complete. Now, if we touch the RDK board at different places along the metal traces, you can see that the color of the LED changes. There are hundreds of customers who have used PSOC in capacitive sensing applications. A good example is this alarm clock with built-in weather station created by Oregon Scientific. PSOC controls all of the touch panel interface, replacing several discrete components. You can see that there are no mechanical buttons to press. The capacitance change from the user's finger on the trace behind the label registers the click. Once Oregon Scientific had chosen PSOC for the capacitive sensing application, they then realized they could use the device to add other features to their system. If you look at the board, here under the plastic plate is the PSOC device. And Oregon Scientific ended up using it to measure temperature also. To show how PSOC can be used to measure temperature, we will go back to our demo and configure one of the analog blocks in the PSOC device to measure the output of the thermistor on this board. Now we will select the thermistor project that we have already designed and configure the PSOC device. You can see that when I warm up the thermistor by putting my finger on it, the temperature goes up. And I can make it really cold by spraying it with this can of freeze spray, and you can see the temperature drops like a stone. As an example of how flexible the analog and digital blocks are in PSOC, I have this smoke detector from Signal 1. Now everyone knows that smoke detectors save lives. This smoke detector is more effective at waking sleeping children than most because it plays a loud recorded message from a parent instead of sounding an alarm. Let me show you how. Hallie, Gabriella, there's a fire. Get out of the house. Hallie, Gabriella, there's a fire. Get out of the house. Signal 1 used PSOC initially to measure and control the voice recording levels. However, once they started using PSOC, they realized it could do much more. And so they also have the PSOC device monitoring and controlling the system power, as well as controlling an indicator when the battery needs to be replaced. When you need some serious processing power with configurable analog and digital, the power of PSOC really shines. Let's take the temperature measurement application I showed earlier and use the PSOC to control a wireless link. We've configured the PSOC with the wireless temperature measurement design. We will plug the PSOC board into the wireless link board, and the USB module plugged in here already contains the other end of the wireless link. Here the PSOC is controlling the data transport and the wireless protocol management. Now, if I put my finger on the thermistor again, you see the temperature goes up on the display. Horizon Hobby did just this with their radio control helicopter. They use PSOC in both the remote control as well as in the helicopter itself. In the remote control, the microcontroller and the PSOC device provides the interface between the joystick controls and the wireless interface. Like in the last demonstration, PSOC is providing the bidirectional wireless protocol management and active link control. In the helicopter, again, PSOC controls the bidirectional wireless link, and the analog and digital blocks drive the motors and monitor the gyro sensors. Without PSOC integrating all these functions into a single chip, Horizon Hobby's system would have been much larger and more expensive. Here, let's see it in action. One of the major benefits that using PSOC brings is integration. As an example, here's a board that one of our customers had designed. It contains a socket for a microcontroller and several other discrete analog and peripheral chips. 
This company was able to integrate all those devices into this single PSOC mixed signal array device. By doing that, they reduced the number of components from 12 to 3 and shrunk their board by nearly 50%. Over the last five years, Cypress Semiconductor has shipped over 400 million PSOC devices. And here are just a few of the companies who have used PSOC in their products. Let Cypress show you how we can improve your system. Thank you for watching.